A law enforcement training session in Washington state involving former Brooklyn Center police officer Kim Potter has been canceled suddenly. Potter was convicted of manslaughter for shooting and killing Dante Wright during a traffic stop in 2021. She testified she mistook her gun for her taser and never meant to kill Wright. Ellen Gallus has been looking into this. Kim Potter was released from prison in April of 2023. Part of her sentence included a 10 year probation period in which she was encouraged to talk to other law enforcement agencies about the dangers of confusing weapons. She was scheduled to do just that at an upcoming training until board members found out who she was and her history on the case. I was shocked. I was upset, angry, mad. There's so many emotions running through my, my brain at that time to even process it. Katie Wright says she didn't know Kim Potter was part of an upcoming law enforcement training session in Washington until reporters from Seattle started contacting her about it last week. Potter shot and killed her son, Dante Wright, during a traffic stop in Brooklyn Center in 2021. Potter was convicted of manslaughter in his death after she testified she confused her gun with her taser. I don't know if she's trying to right her wrongs, but every time she does that, it's hurting our family and she's done enough. Potter was scheduled to participate in a training for the Washington State Liquor and Cannabis Board on September 23rd. The title of the training presentation was Remorse to Redemption, Lessons Learned. A spokesperson for the board says they paid $8,000 for the training, which also included other presenters besides the embattled former police officer. A spokesperson for the board said in a written statement that once they learned of Potter's history, they immediately canceled the training, saying, we believe learning can come from those who have made tragic mistakes. The cancellation of the planned training is not a reflection of its value. Instead, leadership believes the inclusion of Ms. Potter would be insensitive and inappropriate to Mr. Wright's family and the African-American community who continue to grieve. We attempted to contact former officer Kim Potter for this story, but were not successful. Late this afternoon, however, Attorney General Keith Ellison is weighing in on this conversation, saying in part that while his thoughts are with Dante Wright and his family, that, quote, if Kim Potter can help prevent the loss of a life by sharing her story at a training, then she should do so. And hearing from Ms. Potter may stop similar lethal accidents in the future, end quote. In the newsroom, Ellen Gallus, 5 Eyewitness News.